internet friends, this is Magic Brad with Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative, and I got a new guest on, and her name is Stacy Banks Houston. Are you there? I am there. I am Yay. there. Hi, friends. We're in the same time zone, central time zone, yes. so that's kind of helpful. Yes. Sometimes I do these with people on the other side of the pond, as they say, or over in Singapore, and it's even the wrong day or whatever. So yes. <laughs> it's nice to be in the central time zone. Yes, I can access zone. you by driving down 35W. You can run right into right. you. <laughs> You're just south. So I don't do these very long. This is just get to know who you are and what you do. So are you are you married and you got kids and all that kind of stuff? I am not married. I am actually getting married. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Yay! Uh, the crowd goes wild. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yes, I got engaged New Year's Eve, actually. So. Uh, I like the guy already. <laughs> <laughs> and I have two wonderful sons, 21 and 17. They are both seniors. One's a senior in high school, senior, and one's a senior in college. So they will be graduating, and I will be an empty nester. Nice. And you've been through all that stuff when they're like 13 and 15 with the attitude. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. So, so I think what you do is you're a business consultant. You help people. You a coach too. I am a business coach. I help people push their passion. Yes. That is good. I'm an advocate of coaches. I'm I'm trying to find one locally here. I want to work with somebody that I can meet on a regular basis. But I think it's yes. really important to have someone that's outside of your own head to be able to tell you when something's yes go that way or don't go that way. It's always yes. good to have a. Yes. Yes. And you know what? I am a big advocate of having a lot of different coaches, a business coach, a financial coach, a life coach, because I think we need all of those people. Like you said, I was so appropriate to think outside of your head. Yep. So, um, so yes, I am a business coach. I actually love to work with the people that are in the idea launch startup phase. So anywhere from zero to actually five years. And because it's sometimes at five years, we're still trying to get the motor going in the business sure. <laughs> we've just been i always say like we're just that little rat on the wheel that's just going nowhere um, but we call ourselves we say we're in business but the business isn't growing so got that i am yeah i am that coach that helps you really push your passion to what i say to position then to profit so love that i love doing it yeah, that, uh, that's an area, like I've been in business all my life. I started doing magic when I was a little kid. That's the Magic Brad brand. And uh, then I got, I did take a job out of high school, worked about three years, got laid off. And I said, where's my gold watch? And I just said, hell with that. I'm going to be doing, right. doing my own deal. But right. you do get into a place when you, like I said, I've been doing this for a long time. And I know that sometimes when things have changed, I'm still thinking my own way. And sometimes you, you need a coach to say, you know, You've been doing the same thing over and over, and it's not working. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, old technology, you know. Right, right, right. So you're right. You need that coach to just do what a coach does, kind of direct you and kind of guide you, help you think outside of your normal thought process sometimes. Um, you know, I work with clients that come in and say, oh, I want to open up a restaurant. And so we have this <laughs> big, grandiose idea of, of opening a vision, of opening up this restaurant, which is fine. I think people should make their, their, their visions big, but we need to sometimes own it in and scale it back a little bit. And let's see if we can do some other things. So obviously you want to open up a restaurant because you think you know how to cook or you know how to cook, right? So maybe we can start off with doing some catering or maybe we can start off with maybe a food truck. Maybe oh, yeah. So just kind of help you think outside of this is actually what I want to do and take those blinders off. Of so I love that idea. Instead of committing yourself to a big restaurant with all the, the what do they call them, the, the, the stove and the kitchen and the, yes. the fridge. What do they call those things? They call them like. Uh, those big hood ovens. Yeah, all and, that stuff. Instead of yeah. investing in that, why not do a truck and see that, oh my God, I didn't realize I was going to deal with all these food regulations and stuff. And you might change your mind. Right, right. I actually was working Baby with steps. a in, um, in Tampa, and she wanted to start a food truck, a Mediterranean-style um, food truck. And her thought process was, I'm going to work the business aspect of it. I'll come up with the different recipes and things like that. And she had a, a partner that was going to do all of the cooking and, and 
you know, going out on, she'd be out on the food truck with him, but he would be doing all the cooking. Well, long story short, um, he didn't want to do it anymore. So True. now she has this food truck that she has to go out and actually do the cooking as well as the business side of it. And she just, she just was not ready for it. And it was a very profitable, profitable business. She was making ten to $12,000 a month. Mm -hmm. And so she was just like, this is too much. This is not really what I wanted to do. Being so, stuck. Yes, yes. Yes, yeah. yes. I did that with a kiosk in the mall and I realized that I had to be there and I didn't yep. like it at all. I thought I was going to yeah. have fun, but I didn't like it at all. <laughs> Live and learn. But, but at least you started, you know, small. I mean, just imagine whatever the product was that you went into a big brick and mortar store and started that. You know, but it's cool to have a business coach that someone that can, can ask these questions like, did you think about this? And because yes. sometimes people don't like with a restaurant, I know people that, oh, I got this great recipe and I'd love to, I love food and I just want to do this. They don't realize that, you know, your partner might be a jerk or your partner might decide to give it up. And mm -hmm. there's other mm -hmm. things that, like, do you ever see the movie, uh, chef? Mm -mm, no, it's, no, it's a haven't. very interesting movie. It's about a chef that he, he's, he loves the art, the culinary art, but the restaurant owner likes the menu that sells mm -hmm. and he wants mm -hmm. to, the chef wants to create new stuff. But mm -hmm. the owner says, I just want to do this. Mm -hmm. And he just lost mm -hmm. his artistic desire. So he threw in the towel and bought a food truck and did what he wanted to do. Yeah. 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 Well, I always say just because you can cook doesn't mean you need to go open up a restaurant. That's right. <laughs> so, so I'm so kind of. That goes along with that. And that's, you know, that's with any business. We have this passion to do whatever, but you have to look at the business side of it. And, and, you know, rather that means bringing in a partner that understands the business side and you all come to some you know, agreement as to whose role is what. Oh. And I was off my, I'm sorry. Okay. You're, you're back. So yeah, when you do your work, or do you have like an office that you bring people to? Or do you do a lot of remote stuff? Do you do it in I, person or? Yeah, I do a lot of remote. And of course, you know, conference call, Skype is all good. I, I do a lot of when there are clients that actually have a brick and mortar. I do that as well. So I'll come to their actual location um, because then I can actually see the, the going on of the business. Yeah. So, yeah. So then do, do you work with a specific niche like uh, dentists or chiropractors or are you kind of like uh, businesses in general? Businesses in general. Anybody, again, that's in that idea launched startup phase. So, got it. Well, before I close this off, I do want to got a couple of other questions and people want to know how to get a hold of you. If they find something of interest here, they want to know how to reach you. You got a website and all that fancy stuff. Of course you do. Sure, sure, sure. sure. So my website is www.stacybankshouston.com and that's S-T-A-C-E-Y-B-A-N-K-S, Houston, like the city. And then you can also find me on Twitter at a CEO's passion. And then also on Instagram at SBH Passion Pusher. Okay, I, I think I might have connected with you on Facebook. And if you could message me back and um, give me those yeah. links, and I can put those on this these videos and put them out there Definitely. so people can find them Absolutely. easy with a click. So Absolutely. here's my favorite question, and this is the big why question. Why did you decide to do this rather than be like a day, daycare provider or a ski instructor or a, a deep sea fishing instructor? <laughs> Why did you why did you pick this? Why this? Well well, let me start here, Brad. When you were talking about um, you know, your your first entrepreneurial journey as as a kid, mine was seashells. So I had seashells in my backyard and I was about five years old, so when everyone else was doing lemonade stands, I was taking these seashells, cleaning them up, and then painting them and trying to sell them. So that obviously was not the million dollar business. <laughs> <laughs> That's where my entrepreneurial, um, I guess my passion started there. But um, along the way, I've had a lot of different, I guess, I guess I can call myself a serial entrepreneur. So yeah. I started a, um, a women's accessory store with my dad. And then we had a business support office space um, uh, service. So we provide office space for clients. Most of them were entrepreneurs and then provided business support services and phone answering and conference rooms and things like that. So that's when I think I actually really started thinking about, wow, these folks, these business owners really need some help, mm -hmm. you know, and if, if, if it was, sometimes it was just help starting. Sometimes it was of course help with the, the office space. Sometimes it was 
trying to find funding. And in the meantime of, of while I was working with my, in, with my dad in this business, I've started working as the director of the Small Business Development Center, which they are funded by SBA, Small Business Administration. Mm-hmm. And that's where the love, I think, came even more because I was doing small business coaching um, at that time as well. So it's just I, I, I just the, the passion um, that I think I have for entrepreneurship. It's kind of more. And, and helping living. people. I can see yeah. that. Yeah, absolutely. I do, I do a lot of these interviews, and uh, I always ask that big why question because I wonder why are you in business. And some once in a while, people say, you know, I want to make a lot of money. But usually, it's to help people, which is very and good for our community. Right. <laughs> There's right, hope right. for humanity. I think, you know, <laughs> people really, really do want to help. You yeah. know, I think, you know. And it's nice that you've had this experience since you were a kid, so you've pioneered and blazed the trail that you can kind of share that. I just just meeting with a friend of mine at a networking event, and my background is in meetings, conventions, special events because of my magical okay. entertainment, so I know a lot about that, but it's not my passion anymore. But I love to dump out of my head all everything I know about it so they can they don't have to learn what I had to learn. Right, right. <laughs> Very right, cool. Right. And that's what we do. You know, we don't, and, and even as parents, you know, you don't want, you try to guide your kids so they don't make the mistakes that you made. And try. Yeah. Try. <laughs> try. Try. Well, before I sign this off, you got anything else you want to share? Like uh, you got any book offers or uh, yes. uh, yes. strategy yes. sessions or anything like that? I have the second edition of my book, The Passion Plan, Journaling Your Business from Passion to Position to Profit. That is um, launch is available on Amazon and available on my website. And um, let's see if anyone is watching and they're in the New Jersey, Connecticut, or Ohio area. I've got a book tour coming up actually this weekend, May March 9th and tenth, and then the twenty fourth. So um, yeah, perfect. Well, I appreciate you taking the dime today to be on Synergy Cafe. And again, if you have something else that you want to launch, uh, or if you know anybody, any of your colleagues that want to do these interviews, I do them for free because it's one hand washing the other. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's the whole Synergy concept. Yes, I love that. You share it, I share it, and we rising tide lifts all boats. Yes, I love that. Yes. Thank you so much, Brad. I appreciate you. Okay, thank you very much. Peace.